That's so hypocritical. You can't say diapers is gross and have your face in somebody's b You just can't do it. Hello Snack Pack, welcome back to Cow Snacks. Today's video is all about how to pee while living in your car using adult diapers. I know you're probably freaking out and you're probably like grossed out, but I have a lot to say about this topic. So let's jump right in. About nine months ago, I made a video called How to Pee in a Car, a female demonstration. And who knew pee was so popular? That video has so many views, I couldn't even believe it. In my previous video, I was using an accordion style container if I had to pee in the middle of the night for basically emergencies. But I have a little secret that I've been holding on to, but I felt that now would be a good time to share that secret because I'm transitioning out of living in a car and living into a van, which is currently being converted. The secret is that after about a month using that accordion style container, I didn't feel that it was working so well. And the solution that I settled upon was adult diapers. Don't turn the video off yet. I want to share how I came to that conclusion and how easy it is to use adult diapers. Can't believe I'm doing this. I'm gonna put down like 50 towels. More towels, better. How do you, I mean, I guess it's like a pull up. A lot of extra material here. Is it a turtleneck? <laughs> what is this thing? Is that enough padding? I hope this has enough give. What side do I put on? Ugh. It's come to this. I mean, it is just like underwear with some padding. Some pretty good coverage. It's like a sumo wrestler. All right, here we go. Okay, just relax, relax. Just let it go. Don't go chasing waterfall. Let's get in a different position here. Row, row, row your boat. Man, is there enough coverage there? I feel like if I pee down, it's just gonna like, I don't want it to go on the sides. All right, I'm ready. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Come on, singing in the rain. Just, okay, go. Nothing's coming. <sighs> this time for real, get serious, okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Go. Okay. Just, <laughs> okay. This is it. This is it right here. Relax. Chill. Ready, set, go. <gasps> oh, that feels weird, but not as weird as I thought. Nothing's touching my skin. Nothing's, and it all absorbed. Okay. This works. This is a good thing. All right, diapers, you get a thumbs up for me. And it's easy to dispose of too. Before I move on, I wanna share why the accordion style container didn't work long-term for me. If I had to pee in the middle of the night, I would always have to open my back door, pour it out on the curb, and then close the door, which kind of called attention to myself. Even if it was in the middle of the night, I always felt like, did somebody hear me? Did somebody see me? The second thing is that I was always concerned if it was gonna spill. Even though I would clean it the next day in a Walmart or in a Starbucks or something, I kind of felt weird about cleaning my pee cup in a public sink. Plus people would see me washing out that container. And also the fourth reason I guess is that even though I would clean it really well with soap and water, I never really felt like it got super dry in there. And so I started to think that maybe it was getting like moist condensation in there and it wasn't really getting like 100% clean. I don't think I wanna keep using this thing. I had a lot of comments from you guys about other solutions, maybe using like a McDonald's giant cup, Folgers container, gallon water bottle with a funnel. And those are all great ideas because you can pretty much cap those things off and throw them away in the trash the next day. Several other people gave suggestions to use devices like the Pibella, Shiwi, or Go Girl, personal pee funnels that women can use to stand up and pee. But that requires me to get out of the car, not only just open my door, but get out of the car, stand up and go pee outside. And a lot of the times I was staying in residential neighborhoods, that just wasn't gonna work. A few of you even commented, why don't you try using adult diapers? And at first I was like, heck no, I would never do that. Then I started to think like, why? What are my objections? And it really only came down to three objections. Odor, the stigma of wearing diapers, having urine on my skin in a diaper. The odor isn't any different than me peeing into a cup and then bagging it up. When you roll it up into a ball, put it into a doggy bag, and then put it into another plastic bag, you don't smell anything. And then you can just chuck it into a trash can the next day. When you're living in a car, you just get to the point where you're like, I gotta do what I gotta do. I need to be comfortable. It's already cramped. It's already a lot of stress and hassle and very challenging. So if peeing in a diaper is gonna make it easier for me and be able to allow me to sleep in maybe an extra two hours in the morning so I don't have to drive over to Walmart so quickly when I wake up, I'm gonna do it. 
the strongest objection for me was I was so worried about having urine on my skin and getting damp and it just like laying on your skin that I was like, that's just so gross. But now that I've experienced adult diapers, now I can safely say that it's not like that. You're watching a video about a girl peeing in adult diapers. If that does not warrant a subscribe, I don't know what does. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and throw a like on it. I wanna take a minute to smash some of these objections these are the things that I had to smash for myself and now I'm going to smash them for you too because I know, I know there are some of you on there probably yelling at the screen like, no, I would never do that. That's so gross. Ah, and you're just like having all these rage thoughts about wearing adult diapers. It's really like a personal preference. I'm doing this video to help people and to maybe help broaden the minds of some other people. Let's play a little game. Everybody raise your hand. It's going to be fun. You might not like it, but you're watching this video anyway. Bear with me here. If any of these things apply to you, put your hand down. Okay, men, if you've ever had a tinkle spot on your jeans or your sweats or your pants after you've peed in the urinal, put your hand down. I know you have because I see sometimes men and they zip their pants up, but there's this little like little like wet spot you didn't shake long enough. Put your hand down. If you have poop stains on your boxer shorts or underwear, put your hands down. Now that doesn't only apply to men, but I think I've seen it, of course, more times with men because sometimes when I've dated guys, I've seen their underwear. It's like you didn't wipe you didn't wipe good enough if you've ever went to the gym rode a bike or anything and gotten sweaty down into your little like junk area put your hands down all three of those things what they have in common you have either urine or sweat against your skin nothing different than having an adult diaper on i would say that stewing in your sweaty or poop stains is even worse. I'm not judging, I'm just saying. Women, if you're a woman, raise your hand. If you've ever worn a maxi pad or a tampon for too long or even a couple hours and you can kind of feel the moisture down there, put your hands down. And that's no different than wearing a diaper for 10 minutes or even overnight. If you are a person that has ever had any kind of sexual activity in your life, raise your hand. That should be like everybody. If you're a kid watching this, turn this off right now. This is not for kids. But if you've ever engaged in oral sex, put your hands down. Yeah, nasty, thinking about peeing in a diaper and you got your face in somebody's wet space. They're, how do you even say? their poop or pee pipeline and your face is all up in that and just like all over the place. And you might be like, that's for enjoyment and pleasure, but like, that's so hypocritical. You can't say diapers is gross and have your face in somebody's bowl. You just can't do it. If you are a parent or have ever been a parent, raise your hand. If you're a parent and you think diapers are gross, I'd like to know what you did for your children when they were being raised. Did they not wear diapers? What did they do? Just run free? You just let them pee all over the place? No, they wore diapers. You left those diapers on sometimes for way too long. And you know it because I know because I was a parent and sometimes you're just like, wow, that diaper got real soaked. I should have changed that like an hour ago. You know I'm right? And the fifth category of people is everyone <laughs> because you were a baby at one time and you wore diapers. You wore a diaper as a baby. You can wear a diaper as an adult. We're not talking about sitting in a vat of urine. We're talking about wearing a diaper to pee and then take it off. The other thing that I wanted to mention is that when you are judging adult diaper wearing, you're also judging people that have to wear adult diapers for medical reasons or because they are getting older and they have a little harder time, you know, with incontinence and stuff like that. We're not, none of us are getting younger. So think about the fact that at some point you probably will have to wear adult diapers in your life. And so it's really not that big of a deal. If your hand is still up, you're probably lying. Or if your hand is still up and you have an objection that I didn't cover that's valid, leave a comment below. Otherwise, everybody's hand should be down and you shouldn't be judging anyone wearing adult diapers. For the most part, I would go into stores or restaurants or something and I would use the restroom during the day and even up to the end of the night until I had to go into my car to go to sleep. But it was very inconvenient because I would always have to at the end of the night, wait until like 9.30 or 10, sit in the parking lot and wait for my last pee of the night. And then I can go find somewhere to park, which delayed me to get somewhere to lay down to go to sleep. And then if I had to pee at like three or four in the morning, I just really had to be uncomfortable and just lay there and just be like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to get in my front seat and drive to another location to go pee. Using the adult diapers was a lifesaver to me. I'd say in the time living in my car, I probably used an adult diaper maybe eight times total. 
So it wasn't every night, but it was there for me when I needed it. That worked out just fine for me. I never felt that the urine was wetting my skin or making it feel damp or anything like that. Those diapers are super absorbent. A lot of these diapers say that you can wear these diapers overnight. Like you can urinate in it more than once. I never did because I didn't want to take a chance, but you can. Okay, so what if Walmart or Starbucks or McDonald's is closed, their bathrooms are shut, or you just waited too long and you're not able to get into a bathroom, or you've just parked somewhere and you don't want to drive 15 minutes back somewhere? Well, then you're going to have to change into your adult diaper in your car. And I found two ways that are the most convenient. They're not convenient because it's easier to do it when you stand up. But if you don't want to be seen and you just want to get the adult diaper on before bed, then here's the two ways that I like to do. The first one is in the front seat. <laughs> this one seems easy, but if you're not like a petite person and you have a little weight on you, then it's, it's not like easy to just be holding yourself up, putting on clothes in the car sitting down. You have to make sure that you roll up all your windows, put all your shades up so that nobody can see you. Put your seat all the way back, but you can't put your seat too far back because you have to have some leverage for your foot to push off of. You could move over to the other seat, but you're in your car and you don't want to get out. You have other things in your front seat, like your snacks and your kitchen stuff. There's things everywhere. It's not as easy because you have to kind of maneuver things around. The main hardest part is just like getting the adult diaper to like sit properly because there's a thick part and a thin part and you don't want to have any urine go on the thin part put your sleep shorts or pants back on the same way then you crawl into your back seat whoa it's not easy to do with an inflatable mattress because it's squishy like a pool raft and you just keep rolling around like a ding dong Getting it on so there's enough coverage is the hard part. <sighs> That's a lot of work. Now, typically I would have way more blankets and pillows back here. So there's a lot less room to work with. This is just for demonstration purposes. <sighs> so it went a lot quicker, but normally it takes a little bit of time to try to get coordinated enough to get the adult diaper onto your body in the back seat. Now, if you're just sleeping cozily in the middle of the night and you just wake up and you have to go to the bathroom, get in a quiet mental space and release. Oh, there are several companies that will send you free samples and that's what really helped me to decide what type that I needed. Samples from a company called North Shore, they'll send you different sizes, Tranquility, I think this is Tena, T-E-N-A. The ones that I ended up going with are the, I think it was like a 10 pack at Walmart for like $8. If you do want to go down that path and you want to give it a try, I highly recommend it because it's not as gross as you think and it's super easy to use much easier than anything else that i've tried if you were living in your car and had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night what would you do i'd love to hear your comments down below bye for now Snack time. Snack time.